All right, time to take a look at the Raybow 12 volt cordless mini buffer polisher. So that's cool. We actually got a case for it. Wow. So you got a manual, some nice thick discs on here. It's pretty cool. And we got some larger size discs. So these look like they're about two inch. I'd say these are about three inches and they just keep on coming. So lots and lots of options. So it's the hook and loop material on one side and the other side on this one is kind of like a, a wool. Very nice. Yeah, geez, Louise, there's just so many different options in here. It is kind of overwhelming. Now, this is something I like to see. They actually included two batteries with this kit. So these are both 12 volt, two amps, and they are the triangle style. And I really like how the case is molded, so everything's got its own place. We got our charger. It says it's good for 100 to 240 volts, so it's good for international or domestic, and it outputs 1.5 amps at 13.5 volts. And there is the polisher. This is kind of interesting. This is actually kind of a plastic part and all this blue material, this is actually the rubber part. So that is actually very nice to hold. We got speed settings, we got on and off, we got a button on the bottom, and then we got our hook and loop base. And one of the cool things about this, you can kind of see how this is offset. So that means this is gonna be a random orbit polisher. Not only is it gonna spin like this, the whole thing is going to oscillate. So what that means is every new scratch is going to run into another scratch and it's gonna make the whole thing look a lot cleaner whenever it's done. So this is the only type of buffer I wanna use. Then we got a case. So we got an extra hook and loop head. We have a second random orbit head. So that's actually pretty cool. So if you want to use a different pattern, you can do that. Then it looks like a horsehair brush. That's pretty cool. And a nylon brush. Nice stiff bristles on there. Then we got a straight key. So if you don't want to have that oscillation, we can just use this and just have only spinning. And then we got the tools for changing everything out. And it does look like this other pad is actually smaller. So this is going to be for the other size, depending on what you want to use. So I'm going to attach a black pad. Black is usually good for cutting. So if you want to put on your rough polishing material, this is what you'd use for that. And the battery just slaps into the back. So if we turn this guy on, that's cool. That's interesting. So if we want to polish this thing up, all we have to do is apply some polishing compound. And go to town. That is cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So if we want to remove this head, all we're going to do is we're going to press in this locking pin and then we can fit the wrench in right around that oscillation head and we can spin that guy off. There we go. So that's actually pretty easy. So if we want to remove the oscillation, we would just use this guy and we could thread that right in. Or if we want to use this smaller oscillation, we could use this guy and thread that one in. Now, I like having the largest oscillation just so that the surface is going to be cutting as much as possible on top of itself. So I'm going to keep this one that was installed, installed. There we go. And we are good to go. Cool. So yeah, that is just an awesome kit with all of these different pads on here for just like such a huge variety for all these accessories, even a different oscillation pattern, two batteries. If you need to do fine detail work and you'd be able to get inside of small spaces, this is going to be the kit that you want. That is cool.